The thigh bone's connected to the hip bone. The hip bone's connected to the back bone. The back bone's connected to the neck bone. Doing the skeleton dance. Hello everyone, sorry about that. Um, it seems to cut off there. Uh, my name is Jen. This is Mr. Jiggles. Um, we're going to be going through some fun facts of the human body and then also get some moving done. Um, so thank you very much for you joining in and watching. Um, if not, please go back to our videos. We're either on Facebook or YouTube and watch them back uh, and get some fun facts and learn some anatomy of the body. So thank you very much. Um, so first of all, everything that we do and Mr Jiggles loves to do is jiggle our body. So we're just going to get some real deep breathing going, okay? Starting your Tabata workout. Exercise. So we want to breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Okay, good. Breathe in. And out. We want all of that oxygen to go into our lungs and really get that body warm and breathing. Good. Always remember to breathe in through your nose and out through the mouth. Breathe in and out. Okay, just a couple more here. Make sure you Put your hands all the way to the sky, jiggle, 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 and out. Rest. And then jiggle all about. Make sure you move all of those bones through the body. Workout pause. So we're going to shake all of that off. So, fun fact that we're going to be learning today is, on Mr Jiggles, what do you think is the medical word for this bone here. Okay, what do you think this is called? Okay, so the answer is you may know it as the skull. Okay, this is the skull, but we call it the cranium. Okay, the cranium. So you may know it's a skull and this is basically an inside helmet for your brain so it's a very protective uh, bone as it protects the, the most important thing your brain okay so this is something that we're going to be learning the cranium okay so what we're going to be doing this is called your cranium we're just going to do a little exercise just jumping from side to side. Resuming your okay. Tabula workout. Exercise. So, one, two. So keep going. I want you to try and balance on one foot. Okay. Really punch up into the air as if you are jumping off like Superman into the world. So, what is that bone called on your head? It's the cranium. Okay. Also known as the skull, okay? So this bone has many different bones into it, okay? So we're gonna be learning about that next. So it's the cranium, good. Also known as the skull. Oh, rest. good. Workout pause. And then shake that all off. Oh, good. So this is your cranium. Now, how many bones do you think this is made up of? Okay. Now your bone, the actual skull itself is fused, but it is made of different bones. How many do you think there is? Okay. Please write in the comments, how many do you think it's made up of? Okay, it is made up of eight, okay, eight bones. Now this bottom here, the occiput, 
is a very important bone. Okay, so we're going to learn just one of them and I will show you on the skull where it is. So there is eight bones in the cranium and the occiput. So I'm going to show you on the, on the Mr Jiggles because he loves to help out. So there's eight different bones here, here, down here. And then this one is the occiput, okay? Right at the back of the cranium, your occiput, okay? And the reason why this is so important is because there's a lot of muscles that attach to this bone, okay? A lot of muscles that you'll be working on, okay? Which we're gonna, we're gonna see if you know one of them, okay? So this next one that we're going to be doing is we're going to be similar to where we're going from side to side, but we're going to get on the floor and do a Superman on the floor. Okay? Resuming your Tabata workout. Okay. So there's eight bones in the cranium and the occiput is the one at the back. Exercise. So onto all fours and Superman. Good. See if you can really balance, really point those fingers, point those toes into the opposite direction, good, so that bone is called your cranium, there's eight of them, and an important one that we're learning about is your occiput, okay, good, so really point those, wiggle those fingers, Wiggle those toes, get all of that moving. Couple more, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Rest. Good, well done. And then shake and jiggle it all off, okay? Work so let's pause. just recap on that little one. So the eight bones, the occiput, And it's called the cranium. Okay, good. So, next one we're going to learn about is an important muscle on your back. Okay, so see if you can name what an important muscle. It's a very big muscle. You have two of them each side that range down. Please comment in what you think it is. Okay, so this muscle that we're learning about it's called the trapezius muscle, okay? Trapezius. Now, if you remember in Gemma's one yesterday, you learned about the vertebrae as well, okay? So what this does, this muscle attaches onto that occiput that we just learned about, and then goes down onto the vertebrae across and up onto that shoulder blade that we learned about in the other one. Okay, so it's a very big muscle. It's a bit like a long triangle muscle. Okay, and they're on each side. So what it does, goes from the occiput, all the way down from on the vertebrae, cross and up, and up like this. Okay, very important muscles, keeps our shoulder blade intact. Okay, so what we're going to do for our next one is going to do a bit like a reversed crab, okay? So we're going to get onto the floor like this and we're going to point to each different toes, okay? It's going to be quite a, a hot and sweaty one. Okay, so who's ready? Who's with me? Resuming your time with our So everyone workout. get onto the floor Exercise. and go! Try to not, try to balance and not move too much, but it's a bit like a reversed crab. Good. There we are. You can see if you can move up and down. Not sure I can do it too steady on that balance. Good. So keep that all moving. Woo! 
So the trapezius muscle, okay? Very important muscle, two of them on the back, either side, from the occiput all the way down on that vertebrae and the shoulder blade, okay? Woo, very good. Last one, woo. Oh. Give yourself a round of applause for that one. Workout pause. Okay. Workout reset. So, trapezius muscle. Okay, very big and important muscle at the back. We use it in everyday use. You have the cranium, also known as the skull. You have eight bones that are all fused in the cranium. And the, an important one to remember is the occiput which is at the base of the skull, okay? The occiput is at the base of the skull. Good. Right, so jiggle that all off. Let's just do some breathing as well to end. So breathe in. You've got the cranium, the eight bones, the occiput, and the trapezius muscle. Okay, good. So please, uh, hope you've all written that down. Breathe in and out. Good, well done. And then shake it all off. Shake it all off. So thank you for joining me and Mr Jiggles in today's learning session. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. You learned about what the name, the medical name for the skull is an important part of the skull and also that important muscle of the back. Okay, so thank you very much for joining. Yes. Workout pause. Thank you very much for joining. Um, yes, and uh, we'll see you again next week, Tuesday, Wednesdays and Thursdays at 11.30. So thank you very much and yeah, have a good day.